Damien Somerset here at the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize. Come to think of it, why am I here? Here to answer that question is Kristen Lindsay, Vice President of Prize Operations for the X Prize Foundation. Hey, Damien. Kristen. What is the Progressive Automotive X Prize? Well, the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize is a $10 million competition for viable, super efficient vehicles. These vehicles are going to help break our addiction to oil and stem the effects of climate change. These teams are shooting to prove that they can get 100 miles per gallon or its energy equivalent, MPGE. And if they achieve that and super low emissions, they're qualified to win this X Prize. And if more than one team achieves those minimum requirements, then it's all about speed. The lowest overall time in the race events will determine the winner. I got a sweet, sweet SUV in my driveway. I mean, you should really see this thing. Yeah. It's, pre it's pretty sweet. Right. Um, why, should I, why should I care about getting 100 miles per gallon? There's a number of reasons. One of it is our environmental future when we look at climate change. Another is our addiction to oil, simply not sustainable from the energy point of view. And that said, we all have needs in our vehicles, so we need to make sure we have a broad range of vehicle choices. What you drive might not be what others drive. Some are commuters who are, are alone in their vehicle for a lot of the day, and a smaller vehicle might meet their needs. So who takes part in the competition? Is it big companies, little companies? Anybody? Well, you know, X Prizes bring out really unusual players to work on a problem. We have a kind of big mix of teams in this competition. Some of these teams started up in order to build a car for the competition and weren't a company before. Others had small companies or medium sized companies that had nothing to do with automotive. Startups like Aptera, companies you may or may not have heard of before, all of them have a mission of bringing super efficient cars to market. I had this great little Honda in the 90s. I mean, this thing got great gas mileage. Um, it seems like 100 miles per gallon equivalent wouldn't be that hard to get. Well, you know what? 100 miles per gallon or its energy equivalent is very hard to get when you're talking about a vehicle that has all the features that consumers ask for. So these cars here aren't just about efficiency, they're also about desirability. And when you're building a car that can perform and that can be desirable to consumers, 100 MPGE is a very aggressive target. They need to be safe, they need to be affordable, they need to be desirable, and they need to be super efficient.